Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Grade 11 University Physics uh, here at the Upper Canada Virtual School. I'm Mr. Stone. I'm going to be your uh, your physics teacher for this quadmaster for the uh, sort of like eight, nine weeks here that we have together. Uh, this entire course will be online. Um, everything you'll be able to get through um, Teams or our website and uh, everything will be handed in here and you can watch videos. I hope there'll be videos for every uh, lesson and um, and uh, welcome. So uh, what do we... First things first, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Mr. Stone and uh, this is again grade 11 University Physics, SPH3U. Uh, I'm originally from, from North Granville I'm sure you guys are from all over the board as well. Uh, North Granville, that's in Kempville. I actually live uh, between Perth and Smith Falls, a little hamlet called uh, Port Elmsley, except I'm not even in Port Elmsley. I'm about you know, 10 minutes north of Port Elmsley. Um, uh, just quick int introductions about myself. Um, I have a degree in physics from the University of Ottawa. I, I absolutely love physics, love math, I love any, anything to do with uh, the natural world. Uh, I'm could be a geek, maybe pretty big geek. Uh, so uh, anything nerdy, computers, math, science, uh, video games, all that sort of stuff. Uh, also um, a music geek too. So if you want to talk about any of this stuff, we can, we can discuss on our team site, that sort of stuff. Uh, but if you want to contact me, uh, one of the ways you can do that is through my web, uh, my email. Sorry. So this is my email here. This is the Upper Canada email. Um, there's also our, our the principal of the Upper Canada Virtual School, Mr. McInnes, and the vice principal of the secondary portion of the virtual school is uh, Mr. Reed. Okay. Uh, for us to be you know contacting each other, since we're going to be doing this at a distance, uh, we're going to be using a bunch of platforms. Um, we're going to be using Teams. I have as as of the recording of this video, I have not activated your teams. Once I record this video, I'm going to embed it in the team. I'm going to embed it in the video in the uh, website and all that sort of stuff. But I first have to record the video, right? Horse before the cart, right? Uh, but our teams is going to look something like this. So you can see here, this is our uh, our teams. I've already just uploaded a couple things here. A quick little introduction, connection to our website. Um, uh, a first assignment. Oh no, a unit zero assignment. We'll talk about this in a little bit. And a survey. Uh, so this is just one of these getting to know you surveys. So just click on the link and uh, we'll talk about all these things in a, in a second. But first things first, you have to be able to, once I activate this team and join you, see, it says here, three students we need to join. I'm going to activate the team, add all the members and um, you guys will have access to this. As of the recording, you don't, but you will in a, in a minute. Um, because we have a, a Teams platform, I hope to put everything on OneNote. However, we just, a couple hours ago, got the Teams built. So the OneNote is not uh, populated yet. Everything is, all the entire course, is on a Weebly. Okay, so this website here, this is an external website. Uh, we can go to it right now. This is what it looks like. This is our, our course website. So everything is going to be here. Uh, for example, we have a course outline for our course. Uh, I just took one of the ones from North Grenville and modified it. Uh, we have a formula sheet, super important uh, formula sheet that will allow you to um, have all the, all the, the formulas you're going to need. I'm never going to ask you to memorize a formula. You'll always have access to this formula sheet. Uh, it's an Adobe PDF. Uh, our first actual note, our first actual before unit one, our unit zero note on significant digits here. There's a video and some worksheets to work on there. Uh, and then th this video that I'm, you, you should probably be watching this either through Teams or it'll be actually, this video will be on this Weebly. It's not here just yet because I'm making it. I can't time travel, not yet. Um, and there's a couple of other things on here. For example, there's a textbook. Uh, this is Nelson Physics 11. Uh, you can download that. Uh, there's a little how-to video on how to use Excel. 
because making graphs is vitally important in, in physics and being able to analyze the graphs that we make. So we have our uh, little how-to video. And uh, a how-to in, not really how-to, but a sort of uh, document on how to use equation editor in Word. We're gonna be putting a lot of equations into our, our lab reports and stuff like that. And you can actually put all these, everything I've done on PowerPoint, I've put all the equations in using equation editor. And it's very powerful. You just have to learn a, a few of the keystrokes. Uh, I might even make a little video on, on how to do that if, if you guys ask for it, okay? Um, you can use the drop-down menus, but that takes a lot of clicks. There's some really fast ways you can do it using just keystrokes. It's very similar to um, what the professional scientists use called LaTeX. So it's a, it's a sort of derivative version of that embedded in Word. Okay, so everything's here. Uh, you can go up to the top, you can go to unit one. Already all the lessons are here. There's lesson one, two, all the way down. We have five lessons in our kinematics unit. Uh, lessons two, three, four, and five are not there yet. I didn't want to scare you guys by putting everything up here. So I'm just gonna, as we go along, I'll add more units. Okay, but for now, there's only our, our unit one built here. And I have not added the assignment or the lab just yet. Okay, so this is a work in progress. This is a working website. We will build this as we go along, okay? And again, I hope to migrate all of this into OneNote, but that's gonna take a little bit, all right? So just be patient on that. Uh, and also all those, let's go back here for a second. Everything, every all the lessons here, like here's a lesson for example. There's gonna be a, a hot link here for a Google Drive PowerPoint. Um, you can open it in the browser, but it's not gonna look very nice. So let's, for example, let's, uh, if we just click on it, what's it gonna do? It'll bring us up into uh, the first PowerPoint. Now the fonts are all messed up and everything's a bit weird. So probably what you wanna do is download it and then open it up in PowerPoint. Because I, I'll scribble all over these things with an electronic pen and add a bunch of annotations. None of the annotations are here. So if you download it and open it in PowerPoint, you'll get the annotations. Okay, uh, sorry, let's just go back. Oh, where are we now? Is it still here? How do we... Sorry, let's do this again. Let's go back to our website. Okay, uh, also it, once we you have our, our PowerPoint, below it is gonna be a video similar to this, uh, going through it, talking through all the problems, explaining everything. So those are all stored on YouTube. Uh, if you'd like, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm not, I'm not here to be a YouTuber or anything like that, but you'll get uh, updates when, when movies are, are posted and that sort of thing. But everything should be up there. A whole bunch of them are up there. Uh, units one through four are up there, I think. Uh, then there's going to be a practice problem. So this is a, a PDF of practice problems and below that are the solutions. Uh, those solutions are all done by me uh, by hand by pencil and are scanned using something called Adobe Scan. It's an app for your phone that is awesome and I really really highly recommend you download it. If you want to write everything out in pencil because it's a lot easier than trying to do it uh, in a in a Word document or something like that, do it in pencil, and then you can scan it and send it to me as a PDF. All right, or you can scan it, send it as a PDF, say, uh, sorry, make it a PDF and then insert it into Word if you want, or do whatever you want to do with it, okay? So Adobe Scan. Uh, so those are the platforms we're gonna be using, this uh, Quadmaster. Um, our Quadmaster is, is, it was supposed to be nine weeks, but because of the delays in uh, populating classes and that sort of stuff, we have a little bit shortened Quadmaster. So as of now, we are finishing on November 11th, which means that since there's five units, it's about eight days a unit, which isn't very much. So we might not get to unit five. We'll do our best, but, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, quickly, what are the units? We got kinematics, dynamics, energy, waves, and electricity. Uh, basically, we're gonna talk about how things move, why things move, what makes them move, uh, how do waves behave, and um, how do electrons transfer energy? What's electricity? Okay, all those things we learned in grade nine. So those are the five things we're gonna get through this unit. And again, if we don't get to electricity, then we don't get to electricity, but we're gonna do our best. All right, so. 
Uh, we're going to be seven, another usual thing that we do in classes, 70-30. There will be a 30% exam. Um, not entirely sure how that's going to work. We're, we're working all these things as we go through. Uh, we have five units. Each unit, well, the, the big assessments, there's always going to be a lab and an assignment. Your assignment's basically going to be a, like a, an open book test. Okay, It's going to be a, a, a more difficult version of a test. Sort of since you have all the availability of all your notes and everything, uh, it's just going to be a bit more complicated test. And there's going to be a lab. And we're going to talk about how to do these virtual labs and how to write them up and all, as we go through the class. Okay. Uh, again, I told you that there'll be a formula sheet uh, subdivided into all the units. For example, these are all the formulas. Oh, this is grade 12. My apologies. The grade 11 is very similar, broken up into the units. There's also a reference uh, sheet for all the constants that we're going to use. So uh, what am I asking you to do? First things first, okay, get on to Teams. Okay, I'm going to act, once I'm finished this, once I upload this video, I'm going to activate the team, okay? So you have to, you'll probably get a uh, an email saying you've been added to a team. Find the team, get on there, and find this form. It's already there. Let's go back to the team here. It's already here, getting to know you survey. So all you have to do is click on it, go through it, fill it out, and it'll come back to me, and I'll be able to get all of your, uh, all the information. Again, this is completely confidential. It's not gonna be shared with anybody. Feel free to tell me whatever you want. Uh, it's basically saying, you know, names, courses, um, how familiar you are with all these, these platforms, uh, math skills, and that sort of stuff, okay? Uh, then also through Teams, send me a chat message. Okay, figure out how to. If you go to the chat tab on the side, there's a little write new message. Put my name in, find me, and send me a message. Okay, that way we'll have a chat thread started, and we can discuss anything, any problems you have, or anything you want to talk about. Okay, and that's through Teams. Uh, next, you're going to go to your email account. So your my dot ucdsb the outlook that you have through the Upper Canada District School Board and send me an email. So then we've started a email thread as well. Okay, so chat message and an email. So this will begin our, our, our communication piece. Uh, next, I'd like you to, if you have a phone, if, you're, if, this, if you don't have a phone, don't worry about this, but to make your life a lot easier, um, download the app called Adobe Scan. It's very, very useful, very, very intuitive. Um, you, it, it finds the document. You just lay your piece of paper in a well-lit well -lit place. Um, it'll find the edges. It'll take a picture of the paper. Instead of having to take a picture of your dinner table, it'll take a picture just take a picture just of your paper. And it'll instead of having a whole pile of, of, of different pictures all together, it'll actually put bundle them all into one PDF, into a whole, like let's say you have five pages, that you want to send to me as an assignment or a lab or something. Uh, typically, a labs you can send as a Word document, but let's say you wrote everything out for an assignment and it's five pages. It'll take the five pictures and it'll bundle it all into one PDF and then you can just share it with me. So you can click on share, put in my email address and send it off to me, okay? Or you can just save it and then put it into the assignment Dropbox in Teams. Okay, so you scan it, it becomes a document, a PDF, and you can save it to your computer, you can save it locally. It's saved in the Adobe Cloud, but you can also just have it locally on your computer. And then through Teams, if there's an assignment that needs to be handed in, you can just upload it as a PDF. Or if you have it as a PDF, you can cut pieces out of it and put that into a Word document as well. Just insert it as a picture or use the snipping tool. Okay. And last thing, uh, there is a math review sheet. So they're your first homework, okay? Um, I won't be marking this. I, oh, sorry. I will be marking this, but this will not be used in the calculation of your final grade. This is just a diagnostic to see what your math skills are like. Okay, so let's go. If you go into our, our team, it's right here as our assignment. So uh, you, can, you can print it off if you'd like. Uh, what does it look like? Do I have it open? Let's let's view it. Let's see what it looks like here. Loading. Oh, 
there's a bunch of you. How do I actually see the there, student view? Let's look at what it looks like. So it's just a PDF. You can print it off if you like. Oh, why doesn't it let me zoom? Okay, you can, you can print it off if you'd like and, um, and fill it out like that or you can uh, take it into Word and write on it if you want Some, somehow. Probably the easiest would be to print it off. Okay, so take it, uh, fill it all out. It's out of 25. It starts off very simple, you know, adding integers, then solving for x, uh, simplifying algebraic expressions, factoring, uh, simple trigonometry, and then a, a graphing problem here. Some data, put it on the graph, and tell me the equation. And it's going to be a line. It's going to be a linear expression. Make a line, slope, y equals mx plus b, all that sort of stuff. Okay? So, uh, fill that out. When you do fill that out, you're gonna, yours will look different than mine, but you'll have to uh, hand it in through Teams. Okay, and I'll get it in teams here and then I'll mark it and I'll I'll send it back to you as a, a either a PDF or however I probably a PDF I'll write all over it put, you know check marks and that sort of stuff send it back to you and give you a mark and that'll end up in the grade book in teams and we're good to go all right so that's quite a lot I know uh, well some things are quite straightforward the, there is a math review problem but uh, I'd like this done by the end of the day on Monday please okay so get this all, get everything done here. Send me a, so fill out the survey, chat message, email me, download Adobe Scan. I can't check this one. This was, this is just on you guys, okay? I will get the survey. I will get the chat message and I will get the email and I will get the math review sheet though. And I'll mark that as soon as possible and send it back to you. All right. Okay. So again, let me welcome you to Upper Canada Virtual School. Um, it's going to be an awesome quad master. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, I'll talk to you later.